Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. So today's video is an updated makeup routine and this has been highly requested recently, both here on my YouTube and over on Instagram as well. So I thought it was about time I filmed an updated makeup look and this is the finished look. Um, a lot of the products I use for this look are Charlotte Tilbury and that's because I am very proud to say that I'm collaborating with Charlotte Tilbury on this video and this is a dream collaboration. If you follow my channel already, you know that I love Charlotte Tilbury makeup. I've used it for years and so yeah, dream collaboration and I am going to be showing you the new Beautiful Skin Foundation which is just delightful. I am obsessed with this foundation. I think you're going to love it as well. Um, and all of the products that I use will be linked below in the description box along with the shade that I'm using as well. And I tried to film some real close-up shots so you can see the texture of my skin and the way the products go on so you can see them in detail. So hopefully you enjoy the video. If you do, please do give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it. And if you've got any questions about anything at all, then just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But let's get going with the video. So I'm starting off with the By Terry Balm de Rose Lip Balm as my lips are very dry at the moment. And then I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. I pop that all over my face and rub it in and it creates a really hydrating, smooth base for my makeup to sit on. Next up, I'm going in with the Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. This foundation is just beautiful. It's a buildable medium coverage foundation, super hydrating, glides on beautifully and gives a really lovely healthy glow to the skin. If I go in close, you can see that it still shows my skin texture and any freckles, etc., which will be out more in the summer but it still evens out my skin tone and gives that lovely flawless glow. It's long lasting and leaves my skin looking plumper and smoother. And although it's a lightweight foundation, it still covers any redness and spots pretty well. It's basically your skin, but better. For concealer, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer, and I'm popping this on my spots on my chin where I always tend to get breakouts, and then around my nose because I tend to get a little bit of redness by the side of my nose, and then under my eyes and in the corner of my eyelids just to brighten up any darkness. I'm then using a Bare Minerals brush to blend in the concealer, and just going in with my finger just to pat it in and ensure it's fully blended in. For powder, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. I've had this for over a year and it's still going strong. I'm not usually a fan of powder, but this is so lightweight and really does give a smoothing, almost blurring airbrush finish. And I just use it on my chin, around my nose, under my eyes, a little bit on my eyelids, and then between my brows. But I like to leave my forehead and the rest of my skin quite dewy. Next, I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer using a Diego Della Palma brush and just popping this on my cheekbones and then all the way around my hairline and really buffing it in and then around my jawline and a little bit on the end of my nose. Even though it's winter, I still like to have a little bit of a sun-kissed glow to my skin. This bronzer is super pigmented and you only need a really little amount and it's huge so it will last forever too. I'm then using the same bronzer but with an eyeshadow brush I'm just blending a little bit onto my eyelids and then using a narrow eyeshadow brush and popping a little bit under my lower lash line too. For mascara I'm using a YSL mascara and I like to get the brush really close to the root of my lashes and really push them up and then I use the tip of the brush to get in the inner corner lashes and then just keep going try and get as much product on as possible and this is how it looks with one coat I love a really full dramatic lash look so I pop on a couple of coats by the way ignore all of the mascara on my eyelids I will get that off once it's dried I just can't help being messy when I'm applying mascara. And then I pop a little bit on my lower lashes too. 
For my brows, it's the Diego Della Palma Brow Cream. I have been using this product for years and years and it's fantastic. It matches my brow color almost perfectly. It's smudge proof, lasts all day, and this little pot lasts forever. And I use a small angled brush to apply it with. And I tend to just go under my brows just to create more of a shape, but I don't add any product to the top of my brows. Then I'm just doing the same on my other brow, starting with a line underneath and blending it up. Then I brush through them afterwards with a Bare Minerals Brow Serum, just to blend the product in a little bit more and set them in place. If I go in even closer, you can see they are in need of a pluck, but I think this shape suits my face. Now that my mascara is dry, I'm just taking a clean cotton bud and wiping away all the smudges. Usually with other mascaras I use, they flake away easily once dry, but this one is a little bit more stubborn. Then I'm just going over my lids with an eyeshadow brush again, just to blend it all in. The blusher I'm using is also Charlotte Tilbury, and this is a really beautiful blush colour and gives a lovely, natural, rosy glow that lasts all day. I'm using the top two highlights from this Charlotte Tilbury palette and popping onto my cheekbones and a little bit down the middle of my nose. Look at that lovely glow. So pretty. And then I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Super Size Me Lip Liner and I'm just overlining my lips slightly. This looks quite dark initially, but when I go over it with a lipstick, it blends out perfectly. Sorry, this isn't the best shot of me applying the lipstick. I didn't realize I had the mirror in the way, but I apply it right over the lip line to blend it in. And as you can see, it just creates the most perfect peachy nude shade with a lovely creamy finish. And then one final touch up with the Flawless Powder, and this is the finished look. I think the foundation looks beautiful, and that glow from the bronzer and the blush is the perfect combination. Plus, that highlight is just gorgeous. Really lovely glow without looking glittery or OTT. I love it. I would love to know what you think of this finished look, if there's anything you would change or if there are any products I've used that you already love or that you're thinking of trying. Do leave a comment and let me know. I would love to hear your feedback. If you did enjoy, please do give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.